The Principe Felipe Stem Cell Bank Research Center is one of four branches of the National Stem Cell Bank, and it services a local repository of pluripotent stem cell and human embryonic stem cell lines. It is also a local point for regulatory issues related by stem cell research. The Valencian Stem Cell Bank is perfectly uh, integrated in all programs and strategies in a, in a, a research center of Principe Felipe. That means that we are, for example, uh, closely related to uh, uh, rare disease, rare disease department. For example, for example, we have uh, four uh, now actually four projects that we want to, to make some, um, for example, cerebellar neurons or any kind of neurons uh, affected in some diseases. That we will generate the iPS cells from the patients, and we will differentiate over over the neurons. Pluripotent cells are characterized by their capacity to differentiate into any cell type derived from the three germ layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Thus, pluripotent stem cells are able to generate any tissue from a living organism, except the extra embryonic layer. In addition, these cells display the capacity to self-renew, which allows them to divide indefinitely into identical cells when they are cultured under specific conditions. The first advantage of, uh, of IPS technology is actually to, to generate disease modeling in vitro because, as you already know, it's very difficult to find uh, human material from the patient from it because uh, it's very difficult to find affected tissue or cells that are affected in some diseases. And that's, uh, this is a unique platform that we can offer to the, to the scientific community or to the, to the medi uh, all medical community. Recent studies have demonstrated the efficiency of the human pluripotent stem cells as a preventative therapy for several diseases. Various clinical trials are currently testing the suitability for clinical practice. Some of the diseases which could be treated through cell therapy with HPSC are diabetes, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, autism, macular degeneration, severe anemia, muscular atrophy, spinal cord damage, and cardiac diseases.